Hey guys, thanks for checking out Take My Veganity. This particular video is for all you drug addicts out there. You'll appreciate this video because I'll teach you how to use a French press and to make coffee. And the reason that I appreciate this way as opposed to the other options out there is because it gives you direct control over how strong you want to make your coffee, uh, how you like the flavor of it, you know, extraction times, all of that. So we'll get more into that in detail in a moment. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. This is how to make your own coffee using a French press. All right, so let's go over the items that you're going to need for this. So obviously first is your French press and this one I got for like 25 bucks, um, but it works all right. I use a paper filter with mine because over time this little mesh filter that comes built in um, has been bent and warped, so it no longer does as good of a job, but when you put a paper filter in there, it takes care of it really well. Some people will say that if you use a paper filter, it affects the outcome of the coffee. I have not experienced that myself, but you're welcome to try it with and without the filter and see what you think. Um, now, the other thing you're gonna need is your coffee grinder. So this is a cheap ass $20 grinder that I have. Um, it's just one single blade, as you can see in there, it's kind of dirty, but it will basically just keep grinding down the beans until you have them to whichever consistency you like. Now, unfortunately, the con to this method is it will leave a, a variety of different size grounds. And so you'll have very fine grounds and then you'll have some very big chunks in there that the blade may have missed. So you're left with kind of the two-step process with this, which requires you to strain it. So I have this little mesh strainer here and that allows the really fine grounds to pass through, but keep the more coarse grounds up in here and separated. So you always want to overmeasure how much coffee you actually put in your grinder because you're going to lose some of the, the finer grounds. And that's where having a scale really comes in handy. So you can find these scales pretty cheap. Uh, there's different types out there, of course, but just get a digital scale that gives you grams as well as ounces and the ability to zero out your weight and you'll be fine. And then of course, the most important part is your coffee beans. So always buy your beans whole. If you can get them as freshly roasted as possible, that is going to be uh, the best thing. It'll result in the best tasting coffee for you. So avoid pre-ground coffee because it will lose its flavor very quickly and always store your beans in a cool, dry place. So in your pantry or cupboard that will have them last as long as possible. Some coffee shops, if you wanna skip this process or if you're, you don't wanna spend the money on a grinder and scale and go that whole route, what you can do is buy your beans from a local coffee shop, you know, Starbucks or other place, and ask them to go ahead and grind the whole beans there, and they can set it for a French press ground, and that way you can have them grind it beforehand. Um, just be aware if you have them grind the whole bag, if you buy like a pound of coffee or whatnot, um, it may start to lose its flavor towards the end of the uh, period where you're using it. So basically grind what you can use and save the rest for later. Last thing you'll need is a timer. So if you don't have a fancy kitchen timer, just use your cell phone, works great, and that'll allow you to make sure you extract the coffee beans for the right amount of time. So let's go ahead and get started in the kitchen. Okay, so first thing that you wanna do is measure out your water. And so you wanna zero out your scale. And I always use the ounces here. Um, so you put your pot on there, zero that out. And I know for my particular coffee, it's gonna take about 31 to 32 fluid ounces. And I'm gonna set that on high and let that come to a boil. All right, so now what we're gonna do is grind our beans. I'm gonna plug this in over here actually. So what you wanna do is weigh out. So zero out and go to grams and weigh your coffee grinder. <laughs> All right. So I know it's gonna take me 40 grams. <laughs> it's weird. There we go. All right. Now for the boring part. Sometimes I like to make beats with it and be like, it's 
should be good. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, there's a bunch of different size grounds and that's okay. Okay. So what I do now is strain out the grind, grounds, grinds, grounds, <laughs> through my little mesh strainer with my spoon. So you can see kind of all the really fine coffee coming out of there. Okay. And so I always like to check what I'm looking for is about 20, eight to 30 grams of grounds. So Twenty-seven, eh, low end. It'll be fine. And now we grab our just off the boil water. So if you guys notice for this part, for this part I have a camera woman behind, um, which is my great wife. So she's helping me out this uh, this episode. Just know it came at a cost. There was a price to pay. It was <laughs> she didn't do it for free. So now. Our coffee is just off the boil. Put just enough to get your grounds wet. And then kind of stir them around here. I'll let you see up in here. So you'll see with fresh coffee beans, it'll kind of foam up. It's just kind of releasing all that, I guess, gas. I don't know what that is. You see in there? All right. Okay. So then you add the rest of your water. Give it a stir and you want to basically do this until you've reached the first minute on your timer, which I don't have because I'm counting in my head. Okay. Then go ahead and get your filter. Some people wet their filter beforehand. I have not noticed that changed the taste of my coffee, but you're welcome to with hot water if you'd like. And then we're going to let this sit for three minutes. Sometimes I like to tippy toe so it makes me feel like I'm taller than I actually am. Is that weird? And then I walk. Is it weird if I walk like that? Three minutes is up. Turn that shit off. And then you want to go ahead and press. Now, if it presses really, really easy, then your coffee grounds were too large in size. Keep in mind I have a paper filter, so there's a resistance there too. But your uh Coffee grounds would have been too large and more than likely it would have not extracted properly. If you have a lot of resistance pushing the coffee press down, then your grounds are probably too small or too fine and you're going to have a really, really um, bitter coffee. So once you've pressed it all the way down, go ahead and some for the homies. And then what I like to do is pour into my coffee cup. Mmm, drugs. Mmm, liquid drugs. And I'm actually gonna ice this later, so I'm gonna let it cool to room temp before I stick it in the fridge. If you let your coffee sit in your press, what'll happen is it'll actually keep extracting while it's in the French press, and then you'll end up with uh, not very good tasting coffee by the time you're on your second or third cup. <sighs> All right, now, as you know, it's called Take My Veganity, so we use unsweetened almond milk. That gives it that awesome creamy goodness, and I like a touch of sweetness, so I put almond, or I'm sorry, rice milk with it to top it off. Then Let's throw it up with the spoon. Test it out. Ugh. Just kidding. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I have shivers. Chills. Goose pimples. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're supposed to be supportive. You're supposed to be a supportive spouse.
I like coffee.